settings, client reports, executive summary allows you to enable the executive summary and choose who it's going to be automatically emailed to, settings, and then we have our server uh, client report settings and workstation client report settings that are identical, except we have the tabs up top to pick who they are getting generated and sent to. Okay, so that will get you around only seeing example reports. Also importantly to keep in mind is what are we going to include inside our default monthly reporting? Okay, please be aware here. You'll note I like the default settings. The best practices are good. I do not put patch status scan inside my autom automatically created monthly reporting because I want to generate that patch report myself. You'll notice it is installed and missing. There is no difference or differentiation there. It's either not there or it's there. I like being able to see it's missing, it's pending, it's installing as we speak. I like to see that I ignored a patch. I like to see that installation failed. I want that more information that the patch report is bringing me where this one doesn't.